Okay, forget the fun and games. It's time to get serious. And for dads to be truly inspired, they need to be truly wired. And speaking of wired... Hi, I'm Will Kreth of Wired Magazine, the publication that's leading the coverage of the digital revolution. And these are the offices of Wired Magazine. And getting wired means getting an electronic address for your computer. With an email address, you can tap into 20 million other computers on a worldwide system called the Internet. You can send and receive mail to and from people all over the world. Dad can log on 24 hours a day and find out what the email mailman has dropped off. Just reading my email. Also, Dad can communicate with people live anywhere in the world by typing on the keyboard. You can join a live discussion group and exchange information about a favorite hobby. Or ask the locals in Europe for training. Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by the Software Publishers Association, which reminds you that software piracy is a federal offense. When a few people steal software, everyone loses. 
Additional funding is provided by PC Connection and Mac Connection, and by Byte Magazine and Bix, the Byte Information Exchange. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffe, and this is Gary Kildall. Gary, I thought this was a show about Windows. What, <laughs> what, that's not Windows. What do I see up here? Well, Stuart, this is a digital research uh, DR DOS. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the front end for it. It's called ViewMax, uh -huh. and it's a, a graphical interface, as you can see. It replaces basically the C greater than prompt. You know? right. I, <laughs> I remember that. It. Okay. Now, basically, there's drop down menus, uh, and of course, you select it with the mouse, and you have things like the calculator that mm -hmm. you'd expect. Uh, and on the screen, you can uh, resize and move around. And so we'll pull up a calculator and a clock, for example. And uh, then we can also go in here and access, say, the C drive by double clicking on that. We'll see the icons come up for the uh, um, mm -hmm. the various folders that are subdirectories in your in your uh, C drive. In this case, but let's say we want to take a look at something like, uh, well, let's take a look at autoexec.bat. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we select it, and then show the contents and what you'd expect mm -hmm. is an ASCII file. And we use a standard close uh, box there. And let's say if we access something like command.com, which is a machine code file, mm -hmm. then of course, we take a look at that, and we'll just what we expect, we would see the machine yeah. code for it. And you have a slider bar here that you can reposition and take a look and, and see various parts of Not very interesting, but <laughs> it shows you the, uh, the idea there. Uh -huh. And we'll close this out. Now, if you want to run a program, you know, let's say, for example, well, My plane doesn't leave for another hour, but what, me worry? I have a laptop portable with me, 6C Marketplace this year. Today, we're going to take a look at the new generation of laptop portables on this edition of the Computer Chronicles. Computer Chronicles is made possible by Leading Edge, makers of IBM-compatible computer systems, including word processing with spelling correction, communication software, and Hayes-compatible modems. Leading Edge, with over 1,000 service centers nationwide. Leading Edge, leading the way to the information age. Additional funding is provided by McGraw-Hill. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffee, and this is Gary Kildall. Gary, this is the work slate from Convergent Technologies. It came out just about four years ago, yet it's already an antique, a collector's item. It's the old remnant of what laptops used to be, basically small display hard.
went back to the home office for publication. Now, is that how it was originally conceived, or is it? A... The original thought on the Model 102, or the Model 100, as it was six years ago, was to be able to build a machine that would be able to be a remote terminal mm -hmm. to retrieve data in the field and then transmit data back to the home office uh, for salespeople and business professionals. Mm -hmm. Bob, one of the great features of the Model 100, of course, very light, very portable, and so on. I've, I've always imagined the ultimate portability and matching that thing with a cellular phone. In fact, you guys do that now, don't you? Yes, we do. We uh, offer a connection from our Model 102 into our new product line, the cellular telephone, which will allow uh, remote data transmittal. The police departments uh, throughout the United States are now experimenting with that project. showed us uh, that what people wanted, uh, in the business world anyway, was a, uh, an expansion uh, to add to their desktop machine, a desktop supplement really. And uh, we see a transition in the near future from desktops to uh, portable type machines that can provide a no compromise solution, essentially all the performance of a desktop and a machine that uh, people can take on the road with them. So give us a little guided tour of that piece of hardware there. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, the screen is a super twist LCD check on the screen the machine. So you have an RGB output on there? Correct. We have a full-size keyboard in the front here with a separate numerical keypad and function keys that are placed similarly to what people are used to having. Um, on this side, you can see the optional 300-1200 baud uh, Ace compatible modem. On the uh, back, there's a serial port, a parallel port, RGB video port, external uh, disk drive controller port, and the control configuration switches and so forth on the back. And there's a, the one thing that just seems to be missing that's different from the a, a desktop is, say, a hard disk uh, as a part of this. Right. And, uh, you know, for, for example, the, for my requirements, it would be really nice to have a 10 or 20 megabyte hard disk. Are you I think we'd all, doing that? Or? <laughs> I think we'd all like to have a 20 okay. megabyte hard disk. Uh, we do have uh, two. For example. Thank you. 